Hey guys, so today we're looking at the Armor Max Dodge Charger Hellcat. Sorry if I do sound like shit, but I do have a head cold, so that's the reason for that. Basically, Armor Max Incorporated is a company in Utah that specializes in armoring cars, or as they call it, bulletproofing. So this is the Bulletproofed Hellcat Charger. Browsing around their website, it does look like they offer bulletproofing for a wide variety of vehicles, from buses to BMWs and even Aston Martins. There have been lots of articles and videos around on this topic, but I wanted to make my own video to share the information I have with you guys since I have done tons of research on the topic as I do for all my videos. I also wanted to clear up some fake news because the early articles released had some misinformation and now that's been cleared up by an article on Allpar with the Armor Max CEO. For example, everyone was saying that this was a police vehicle only, but that's not the case. So for the rest of this video, we're going to look at what the Bulletproof Hellcat offers, what features it comes with, and clearing up any fake news that I come across. So let's get into it. The first question, who can order this? Well, many news sources claim that it was for police officers and government officials only, but this is fake news. Any American with a Hellcat can contact Armor Max and have this done to their car. I say American because many foreign countries will have stricter laws on owning and driving a bulletproof car. The base vehicle you do see in this video and on the Armor Max website was given by a local American law enforcement agency, so they are probably using that vehicle in their fleet right now after it got bulletproofed. So the way this company works is that they fix up customers' cars, so you bring them your car and they will bulletproof it according to which specifications and features that you've picked. There's no general pricing listed. Some people have said $100,000, but this is not true because it really varies based on which level of bulletproofing you get and which options you choose. So I have no price point to give you, but I'd expect at least tens of thousands on top of your Hellcat price point of around 67 k So first you choose a level of car armor. There is B4, B5, B6, and B7. Straight from the Armor Max website, you can see what each level is. Basically, this shows which bullets a vehicle can resist from actually penetrating into the cabin when fired at the vehicle. The car blocks these bullets using different armor and ballistic glass. B4 protects against handgun fire, like a 44 Magnum. B5 will resist an AK-47. B6 moves up to high power rifles. And B7 is the top level of resistance, armor piercing. I know nothing about guns, but looking at this bullet chart here, these look like some massive bullets that the Hellcat can resist, depending on which level you choose. So to get that B resistance level, Armor Max makes the entire passenger compartment armored with light synthetic fiber laminates and air hardened and heat treated ballistic alloys. This is done on the roof, floor, and pillars. There's also the ballistic glass that I mentioned, where they replace all the original glass on the car with acrylic polycarbonate laminates and layered glass so it actually looks similar to the OEM glass, according to the pictures. You can't actually roll down these windows, but they do offer less protective glass that you can operate if you do want to choose that method. Other features that can come with your package include a reinforced suspension, run flat tires, armored battery, and protection for the radiator, ECM, and fuel tank in case the bad guys try to get into those areas. There's also an extensive list of options, as you'll see on screen, that you can add on, including electrified door handles, siren PA intercom system, strobe lights, blinding lights, concealed ram bumpers, smokescreen cloak, anti-theft tailgate grill, tack dispenser, gas masks, bomb blast security upgrade, bomb blankets, an external listening device, and more. Most of this stuff sounds seriously like it's out of a crazy new video game, but it can all be added to the Hellcat, and I'm sure to the right person, these options can be useful and safe. One thing that got many people excited was the all-wheel drive package. The current Hellcats cannot be purchased with an all-wheel drive system, but there is an optional all-wheel drive package for this Armor Max car. It's not standard though, as you might have seen, so that's a bit of fake news. You also can't just call up Armor Max and ask for the all-wheel drive package and that's it, because they will only add that if you're getting the car bulletproofed. The all-wheel drive components are supplied to Armor Max through a third party and not FCA, so these all-wheel drive parts are probably not good for racing and more geared towards safety, so you might not want them for the track anyways. The last bit of fake news to quash 
was the rumors that this bulletproof Hellcat would weigh over 6,000 pounds. This is not true because Armor Max uses their own special design composites, which will not add as much weight as traditional steel would. It will definitely be a little bit heavier than a normal Hellcat, but by how much, I'm not so sure. Okay guys, so that's all I have to report to you regarding this bulletproof Hellcat. This is a really awesome thing that Armor Max is doing, and it would be very cool to see these cars being used, as long as they aren't pulling me over. If you had a Hellcat, this would definitely be really cool to try out and see how it turns out. Anyways, thanks for watching, and let me know what you think of this bulletproof Hellcat. Make sure to subscribe for all your Mopar content, and I'll see you next video.